Greetings and salutations, my fellow sailors, and welcome to another Warhammer 40k lore video. Today we are gonna be covering what many of you have probably been waiting for ever since I started doing Imperial Navy videos. And that is the types and classes of Imperial Navy warships. You know, battleships, cruisers, destroyers and such. In this episode, I will be giving an overview to the main classes of ships from the Imperium, but I will of course make separate videos for each class, and probably for a few of the subclasses as well. So, I am your host, the Grimdark Narrator, and without further ado, let us learn more about Imperial warships, shall we? The fleets of the Imperial Navy are made up of multiple vessels, which can be divided into three major size categories. Battleships and Grand Cruisers, Cruisers and Escorts. Now, the actual size of starships in the Warhammer 40k universe is kinda debatable. And I'm saying that because in the fluff, novels and such, the reports of ship sizes are extremely inconsistent. This is also due to the age of the setting, as in older lore, some authors tended to exaggerate a bit more. In the newer lore, as in the last decade or so, some of it has been retconned, and either Games Workshop or Black Library, or both, since the first one owns the second, have made efforts to create a more uniform scale across all publications. So, in older fluff, you can have one source, say a battleship is 30 kilometers long, while in newer fluff, the same ship is 3 kilometers long. Fortunately, in our modern times, so to speak, kind of a general consensus has settled regarding the size of ship classes, which is as follows. Imperial escort vessels are between 750 meters to 2 kilometers long, Cruisers are anywhere between 4 and 6 kilometers long, and battleships can range between 6 to 8 kilometers or longer. And speaking of battleships, we will start with them. Battleships are truly massive starships, equipped with enormous numbers of weapons and potent void shields, and usually serve as the flagship for an Imperial Lord Admiral, though this is not always the case. Although very powerful, battleships are also very slow and cumbersome to maneuver. The Imperial Navy employs three main classes of battleship. The Emperor, which can carry an immense amount of attack craft in its addition to its normal weapons, the Victory, known for its heavy lance batteries, and the Retribution, which is noted for its powerful broadside firepower and its large number of torpedo tubes. The battleships of Battlefleet Armageddon are based on the older Apocalypse and Oberon classes. Other Segmentes battlefleets may rely on yet other starship classes, but the Emperor and the more recent Retribution class vessels are by far the most common battleship classes in the Imperial Navy. Imperial battleships can have crews of anywhere between 25,000 to 3 million men, or more, depending, once again, on the source consulted. These include large numbers of Imperial Navy armsmen, which are the equivalent of marines in our modern times, to defend against enemy boarding assaults. Battleships can be up to 8 kilometers from prow to stern and displace billions of tons. Because they represent such a vast expenditure of resources to construct, and require a fairly advanced technological base to maintain, battleships are typically constructed on the largest Imperial shipyards in orbit of the major Adeptus Mechanicus forge worlds. These vessels are precious assets, and the Imperium carefully manages them, usually employing them only in larger fleet formations and the most critical of engagements. For the Imperial Navy officer class, admirals, captains, commanders, etc. on board, an entire section of a large battleship's command deck may be divided into large, opulent staterooms, with vast bedrooms, offices, wardrobes, bathrooms, and toilets mirroring those of an Imperial governor's palace, and even harems of concubines and handmaidens. 
lower class bridge officers and chief petty officers would have fairly large, moderately luxurious quarters, and the armsmen, mid class crewmen, and petty officers would all have decent accommodation, generally consisting of a sleeping area, chemical toilet, and storage locker. However, the bottom class enlisted conscripts and slave ratings would have little more than a flea infested sleeping pallet and a single toilet shared between 10 ratings. The Grand Cruisers Grand Cruisers are smaller than battleships, yet larger than cruisers. These vessels are usually much older in design and do not incorporate many of the features that are typical in the more current classes of Imperial Navy vessels, like the armored prow and are not quite compatible with current Imperial Navy tactical doctrine. As such, many are retired from active duty, but are still used by the reserve fleets. The Avenger class, with its powerful broadside firepower, is one such example of a Grand Cruiser. There are also some modernized versions of Grand Cruisers in active service, but since these are much larger and more heavily armored than their predecessors, they are more often classed at present as battleships. These kinds of vessels are usually purpose-built or modified from battlecruiser hulls and are not commonly encountered in the Imperial Navy. The Cruiser Cruisers make up the majority of an Imperial Navy fleet. Though not as powerful as a battleship, cruisers are much faster and can still deliver a deadly blow. There are multiple classes of cruiser, most based on the same general hull design, but incorporating different combinations of broadside batteries, lance turret, and attack craft hangars. Examples include the all-round ubiquitous lunar class, the gothic class with its powerful lances, and a Dictator class attack craft carrier. Cruisers can carry a crew complement of anywhere between 10,000 and 1 million crewmen, including Imperial Navy armsmen and military police squads, depending again on the sources consulted. While cruisers are still particularly technologically complex, it is not uncommon for them to be constructed on smaller forge worlds or any civilized world which has an orbital shipyard suitable for constructing vessels of their large size. Of particular note was the lunar-class cruiser Lord Daros, constructed in orbit above the feral world of Unloth in 11 Terran years, by relying on the labor of most of the planet's population for materials. While naval warships can be defined along a fairly limited number of classes, based on weapon configurations approved by the Adeptus Mechanicus, the physical form these vessels take can vary widely throughout the Imperium. For example, a lunar-class cruiser constructed above Cypra Mundi in the Segmentum Obscurus may bear little resemblance to a lunar-class cruiser constructed above Car Duniash in the Ultima Segmentum and even less so to a lunar cruiser constructed above the vast shipyards of Mars's Ring of Iron. Nonetheless, they all have roughly the same operating characteristics and weapons configuration and can thus be easily serviced by any orbital facility throughout the Imperium. There's also classes of battle cruisers. Although based on a hull design that is similar to a regular cruiser type, these starships are usually somewhat larger and more heavily armed, incorporating more advanced power distribution systems capable of supporting battleship-grade weaponry in a cruiser hull. A notable example is the Mars-class battlecruiser, with its fighter bays, broadside batteries, dorsal lance turrets, and an immense prow-mounted Nova cannon capable of attacking targets at extremely long range. Another subset of the cruiser type is the light cruiser. These warships fall in size between cruisers and escorts, mixing the firepower and durability of the former with the speed and maneuverability of the latter. The Dauntless class is a very common light cruiser class in the Imperial Navy. Extremely self-sufficient, it is fast and has enough firepower to be a threat to escorts and larger capital ships alike. There are other classes of light cruiser in common use in the Imperial Navy, most notably the Endeavor class, 
which serves in varied forms and hull types throughout the Imperium. Light cruisers are a fairly common warship class, for they are relatively simple to construct for a capital ship and they are uniquely suited for reconnaissance patrols and for ensuring a presence where their speed and maneuverability are an advantage, and where having a larger number of smaller hulls allows the Imperial Navy to monitor a wider area of space. The Ironclads Ironclads, much like their contemporary Imperial Navy counterparts, the battleships, are vast, 8-kilometer long vessels which lack the void shielding of their battleship counterparts in favor of meters of adamantium plate armor. These warships, built before the advent of void shield technology, have since been phased out of production by the Imperium to be replaced by more modern designs. However, those remaining in service have been recommissioned for a variety of purposes. Various pattern ironclads may be retrofitted with a gargantuan ship, station, or even planet killer cannon running the entire length of the ship's keel, linked directly to the stirred fusion reactors. Others may simply be braced and reinforced for the purpose of ramming into and through enemy vessels. These starships are rare in the Imperial Navy. Due to their archaic design and the lack of facilities still capable of repairing them at existing Forge worlds, let alone manufacturing new ones. And last but not least, the smallest members of the Navy, the escort ships. Escort ships are the smallest type of warship in the Imperial Navy fleets, found in two distinct subclasses. The larger of the two are frigates, which are better armed and more heavily armored than other escorts. Destroyers are generally smaller than frigates, but they are by far the fastest and most maneuverable interstellar warship employed by the Imperial Navy. They are usually organized in squadrons of two to six vessels and will always operate in a group or wolf pack. The main task of escorts is to serve as a screen for capital starships against enemy torpedoes and attack craft so that they can get into position more quickly and safely. They are also employed behind the gun line to finish off enemy cruisers that have been damaged so that the larger vessels can concentrate on the most dangerous capital ship threats in an enemy formation. Most escort classes specialize in a certain role such as the Cobra-class torpedo boat destroyers or the Firestorm-class frigate with its armor-piercing prow-mounted lance. Escorts are normally no more than 1.5 kilometers in length, with destroyers generally being from 750 meters to 1.5 kilometers long. Many Imperial Navy capital ships of cruiser-class size and above are capable of carrying squadrons of attack craft like starfighters and star bombers. These are used in a variety of roles, from small fighters providing defense against torpedo attacks to heavy bombers packing anti-starship ordnance. The largest Imperial battleships and heavy cruisers are known to have launch bays capable of carrying up to 2,000 fighter craft, bombers, and dropships. And that, my friends, has been what I wanted to tell you about the main classes of ships in the Imperial Navy. There's a lot more to be said about them, and I will be making individual videos for some classes of battleships, cruisers, and so on. I will also cover both Void Combat and Atmospheric Combat Fighters in a separate video. Which one of these classes did you like the most? Let me know in the comments below, along any other thoughts or questions. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please click the like button and subscribe for future videos. And if you'd like to help me out a bit, please go check my Patreon page. The link is in the video description, where even one or two dollars a month can make a big difference to me. I thank you very much for watching and wish you all a great day. The Emperor Protects.